Well, let's uh, we'll just dive in. Uh, Maida, do you want to show us what you have, and then Carlos, uh, what you've got, and we'll just take it from there. Yeah, sure. Mm. Okay, so I want to share with you some updates in IDX add-ons, and this is related to IDX broker. So the first one is that we made some uh, updates in the user interface in the lib manager. Now you're going to be able to see the same properties in this format because uh, a couple of weeks ago, if you remember, uh, we were just showing the link to go to this uh, save it property. So now you can see your lead save it properties in a more user friendly way. And this will also happen with the saved searches. Now they are going to look like this, where you can see uh, the city, the price range, the property type or subtype. And also, uh, you now have the option to delete saved search uh, inside this lead manager. And I'm going to show you here an example. I have, I have here a demo lead that has here the IDX or the lead manager button. So uh, to go here to the save it uh, searches that this lead has, you need to click here on their name and it's going to open this page. And here you can see uh, the save it searches. So now you have the option to delete a save it search. Maybe it's not well created or they created more searches, but you have the option here to delete this save it search and it's going to be removed. And well, this is the first update related to this lead manager. And we have also added new custom fields in our integration. Some of them are related to the contact form in the IDX details pages. Um, if you remember uh, in the IDX details pages, you can show a schedule, a showing form, or request more info, or contact an agent. And now whenever someone fills uh, a form, a contact form, or a request more information form, form it's going to look like this. Uh, it's going to show the, the address, the city name, state, zip code, price, bets, and bats as independent custom fields in case you want to create automations based on this. And here at the in the note section, you can also see that it was added as a note. And lastly, we have also added some custom fields related to the last view property that a lead has seen. And here I have an example. Here you can see that it's also going to add here uh, some custom fields and all the information in case you want to trigger some uh, workflows related or based on these custom fields. Mm -hmm. And that's it uh, in IDX Arons and IDX Broker. So Maida, let me ask you a quick question. You're saying that if they fill out one of those forms, it's gonna add all those new fields in there. Is that is that right? Well, they need to update the custom fields. Okay. But if they have updated um, these new custom fields and they are using our integration, whenever a, a lead enters the information, it's going to be filled on these custom fields. Okay, so it'll, it'll <laughs> supply all that data. And then, and then what are, like you said, they can use those to make some triggers or some workflows or something like what, what would you, what would be an example of a workflow that you would think of that maybe somebody could make? Well, the most important one is to receive an instant notification as an agent. Okay. I receive a notification that someone fill it this form from, for this property. And maybe they, they, I mean, in IDX worker, you receive an update. I believe it's via email. Uh -huh. But in high level, you can add it as a text or SMS. Okay. That could be one. Or you can also like uh, create an email as a reply that when do you want to visit this property or I don't know. Okay. 
So it, it gives a, some options to maybe do, you know, a lot of different things, really, what you're saying based on that. Yes, that's right. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that with us. All right, well, Carlos, you've got been working on some stuff. Do you want to share with us what you've got going over there? Yes, thank you. Well, I want to show you two apps we have released uh, recently. But first, I want to um, I want to imagine that you're you're looking for a bedside table, and you found three that you really like, just from their pictures. One has a lot of a lot of good reviews and a high rating. Another has a few reviews and a low rating, and the third hasn't been reviewed at all. Which one would you choose? Most likely, you would go for the bedside table with a lot of reviews, a lot of satisfied customers, right? Yeah. This is because something called social proof, which is basically when we are influenced by what other people say or do. And in fact, surveys shows that 95% of shoppers read online reviews before making a purchase. That's why it's very important to have testimonials or reviews on your website. And your client's business might receive testimonials or reviews online. And why don't we show it on their websites? That's why we want to uh, show you our new apps. The first one is Google reviews. If you look for your business on Google, you might find uh, reviews that your customers have uh, leave. And for example, uh, for Premier Properties has a very good uh, review and very good stars. Uh, they have they have 188 per reviews. And this app works uh, this way. You go to settings and start typing your business name. And it will start looking for the Google uh, prop, uh, business. And then you click on save and you will uh, get your, your widget code and it looks just like this. It shows the, the recent, more recent uh, reviews uh, on, on Google and it is always updated. Something also important is that it only shows um, available reviews so you won't find a uh, you won't find like one star reviews on on this widget and that's something to to take in mind that in case you have a uh, google reviews but imagine you can you want to have something more organized and you have your reviews um from your clients and that's why we also uh, release these testimonials app that where you can uh, upload your own testimonials, uh, you can add new, you can add images, import from a CSV file, and we have many themes. For example, you can show it uh, as a as a carousel like this one. You can show it um, like quotes, and we have also the grid option just like this. So we we want a uh, we want your client's website uh, to be a uh, testimonials in order to have social proof and we hope that these apps help uh, your clients to 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 help the the customers uh, trust on them. That's well, that's what we wanted to show you about the new apps. And I also wanted to, to share a new a website that we have finished. This website is using a uh, or Cancun team. And this is a one click website in, in high level. And this is how it looks. It has a, or It has communities or long home valuation widget and all testimonial apps that I just showed to you. And this is what I, I have for you. I hope you can you find these uh, new apps and tools useful for your clients. Thank you. Hey, Carlos, real quick. So did you implement that, that app on this website? Is that what that is down there? 
Yes, exactly. This is the testimonial okay. apps. And here and we which, have... Which setting is that right there? Which display is that? Is that the carousel one or which one is that? This is the grid, grid, grid one. one. Okay. And when you click on view all, uh -huh. the next page is using a, the quotes team and okay. it's also showing all of them. Okay. And and how many of these can you set up? So you set up two different widgets there. Is that right? Exactly. Yes, I set up two, but you can set up as many as you need. Okay. For example, here I have one for the homepage and the other one is for the a single testimonials page. Okay. You can have many. Okay. So a, a quick question about that with the Google reviews. What what do I do like if I'm if I'm a real estate agent I don't have any reviews yet from Google. Well, you can start asking your your clients for example uh, at the end of a transaction or at the end of um active communication with them uh, asking for a review and also using this widget uh, we have a button here write a review that you can uh, click and ask for a review to, to your clients. Okay. Here, we, here we have, this is the, the button. Okay, very good. And uh, that testimonials one, those, those are on, so these, the, the Google one pulls it automatically from Google. This testimonials one, we actually need to type in the, the reviews or turn it into a CSV file or something like that. Is that right? Yes, exactly. When you first create the app, it comes with three um, default testimonials. They, they they are using your, they will be using your name. And the idea is to, to show you how it will look like, but you can modify them and you can start um, adding your own testimonials. Okay, very good. And and then you can put your own image on there. Yes. And so yeah, that looks good. Let me then let me jump over to this uh Murrieta Realty website that, that you're showing us here. So you said that's one of those one click websites. Just do you mind explaining what that is a little bit in case there's somebody that doesn't know what that is? Okay. Well, these are one click a uh, these one click websites are high level templates, but not only that. We um, simplify and we we want you to have a website in a record time. So you will have a multi-step form asking, for example, for your uh, website name, for the communities you want to work on, for the um, hero image you want, for the template you, you would like, and the apps that you need on your website, and it will uh, generate the custom values on your on your high level account. So when you copy the website, uh, you will have uh, the the website completed. And and how, that sounds pretty complicated. How how long does that take? Like a week or two weeks, or how long does that take usually? It takes minutes. You can have your website in less than ten minutes. Okay. And uh, where, like, if I wanted one of those, where would I sign up for that? You can go to idxapps.com. And one click website. Sorry, you need to go to widgets, scroll down, and you can find it here. I can find your websites. Okay. One -click website. Yeah, and you can buy the template or see a live review. Okay, and then these, these how much are these cost? They are 199 per 199 website. 199 bucks. So for less than $200, I can have a, my own website set up with iHome Finder integrated in less than 10 minutes. Is that what you're saying? Amenities and apps like the ones that I just showed. Right on. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for sharing that with us, you guys.